In this video, I'm going to show a quick walkthrough of our Dare Studio 4 Scene Tools Pack 1 product. One of the problems with setting up a detailed scene in Dare Studio is that each item added to the scene can slow the scene navigation down. With clothing and hair models being higher resolution these days, even a single Genesis figure with hair can slow down the interface a lot. Part of the slowdown is due to your PC constantly rendering everything out to the preview window. Now to speed things up, you need to hide items while setting up camera angles and posing characters. Unfortunately, that means you have to remember to restore all of their visibility before the final render. Our solution to this is a couple of handy tools that can be run directly from your Dare Studio toolbar. In this example scene, I have two figures, both of them Genesis 8. I have DeForce clothing, hair and props. You'll notice that even on my high-end PC, the interface is laggy. Trying to pose the two figures to interact nicely is pretty painful. Okay, so I'm going to install our tool pack and see how that's going to help. The installation is a simple process of double-clicking the Create Menu and Toolbar preset. You'll see that once it has run, a new toolbar with 12 tool icons appears at the top of your interface. You can click and drag on the tool separator to shift the new toolbar over if you prefer. I'll switch to Y Texture Shaded View now so that you can see the scene geometry and then let's go through the individual tools. The first tool simply makes everything in the scene visible again. This is a quick way of ensuring that everything is visible for your final render. The second tool hides everything in your scene except the main actors. This is perfect for when you want to pose the figures to interact. You will notice how much quicker the scene navigation is now. This tool will also hide eyelashes, eyebrows and other items attached to the figures. Let's use the Make All Visible tool to restore everything. The next two tools go through your scene and hide or show anything that it recognizes as hair. Note that these tools use the content type definition of the objects, so it will only identify items that are correctly set up as hair content. This will also include fiber mesh eyebrows, eyelashes and fur if it is set up as hair content type. The tool to make the hair visible can be used after hiding all non-figures to return the visibility of any hair in the scene. The next two tools go through the scene and hide and show anything that it recognizes as clothing. Note that these tools are also using the content type definition on the objects and will only identify items correctly set up as clothing or wardrobe content. These tools will also hide and show shoes. The next two tools will go through the scene and hide and show everything recognized as shoes. These tools also use the content type definition of the objects, so it will only identify items that have been set up as wardrobe as well as shoes. The next tool will hide everything in your scene except the item that you have selected. Actors are hidden as a whole, so if you have selected the leg of one of the characters, the whole character will remain visible, while everything else in the scene becomes invisible. This is very handy if you're wanting to adjust one of the figures without all the other geometry slowing down the interface. Similarly, the next tool will make everything in your scene visible except the item that you have selected. This tool can be used to swap the visibility of whichever items are visible. The final two tools will set the subdivision mesh resolution of all items in the scene to their lowest or highest level. This mesh resolution is a preset on the items themselves. The tools simply switch the resolution between their lowest and highest settings. You will notice in my scene that has over a million polygons, using the tool to set the mesh resolution to its lowest reduces the polygon count to a far more manageable 300,000 polygons. I hope this quick walkthrough can show you just how useful these tools are to have as part of your Dare Studio interface. 